Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Making a cup of coffee is definitely one of life's biggest pleasures, at least to me. Now I'm out here in the shop quite a bit. You'll hear over here probably, sorry for the little bit of noise, but I'm doing a little bit of 3D printing and I've got a new product that I've been using from Stanley. I actually purchased it about six months ago and I hadn't used it up until about three months ago, but I've been using it a lot here in the shop to make coffee. Now when it comes to coffee, the company Stanley often has you covered. That's the case today. We're going to take a look at the Adventure All-in-One Coffee Brew System. This is an awesome, awesome piece of kit, guys. Stay tuned. Let's check it out. So here is the kit. It's really got a lot going on, so we'll take a look at the different pieces. Dimensions like this are 4.1 by 4 by 11.2, so it's pretty tall. Weight is 1.7 pounds. All the plastic is BPA free. It is the classic 18.8 stainless steel that most Stanley products are made out of. It's rated to keep liquids hot 15 hours and cold 13 hours. And if you have things iced, it says it will remain iced for 48 hours. Price, I think, is a very reasonable $50 for this kit. We'll take a look real quick at the different pieces. Unscrew the top. This top, if you take it off, you can actually unscrew it as well. And it's two different mugs. This stopper up here is what keeps any contents inside of the insulated portion hot or cold. It has a rubber gasket right here. Also, if you unscrew right here is where you can keep your coffee or anything else you want. This is where I usually keep my coffee. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can keep it right in there. If you unscrew the insulated part, this is an insulated container, double walled. Keeps things very warm or very cold. 20 ounce volume, which is pretty nice. And then this is the coffee brewing area. You can pop your handle up like that. It stays in place. Push right here in this little plastic and it closes. And this is basically locked in. If you unlock it and pull it out, this is your French press system for making French press coffee on the go. Make your French press, pour it in here to keep it hot, and you can enjoy it all day long on the trail. Now we're not on trail. We're uh, doing some designing on my computer and some 3D printing, but it's not going to stop us from enjoying this product and making some coffee. Now, as you just saw, the flexibility of this kit is pretty amazing. You can heat water in the large exterior cup. Once it's heated, you can brew French press coffee like we did today. You can make instant coffee. You can make some tea. Once you've made your beverage of choice, you can put it inside of your insulated container and it will stay hot for a long time. That's what I've been doing out here in the shop. I go into the house, of course, pour a little bit of heavy cream into that insulated cup like I did and I make some coffee. It allows me to drink that coffee slowly over the next couple of hours and enjoy it while I'm here in the shop. Of course, it's not just for indoors, but since it's 110 degrees outside, I decided to make it an indoor product today. 
it's great outside as well. And we were talking about how hot it can keep things. Let me show you guys real quick a little experiment I did. I put some water to boil. I put it inside of the insulated container. And then I went ahead and let it sit for about three or four hours. And this is what we got. So not too bad. Now the integrated storage inside of the top or the stopper is a really nice touch. You can keep your coffee right in there. Overall, like all Stanley products, it is well thought out, well engineered, and it's pretty darn good quality. Now, of course, there are always things you can change. I don't think any review should be all sunshine, you might say. I'm a little bit worried about the handle when you pop it up. It's got plastic in there as part of the retention system. And I worry that sometimes that might get a little bit hot Definitely would not use this over an open flame or that plastic is going to, uh, to melt pretty quickly, but I've used it so far with smaller, you know, pocket rocket two type stoves like we did today, no problem whatsoever. The seal on the French press bucket isn't as tight as I quite would like. Now I've had no problem so far, no grainy coffee, but it looks to me like it could be a problem down the road. I'll let y'all know if that's the case. It's also pretty darn heavy and that's why I probably wouldn't carry it in my backpack. But overall, when you look at the functionality of it, if you're out backpacking, you want to carry something like this, especially on a cold weather trip. You want to brew some coffee in the morning and have the ability to drink it over the day. Pretty nice kit to do that with. In my opinion, the pros definitely outweigh the cons on this product. I'll be taking it out on day hikes this year. This is perfect for those day hikes where you want to sit down, make a fire, cook a little something. You can make some extra coffee, take it with you as you continue down your hike. It's really nice to stop and have a nice warm cup of coffee. If you're less concerned about weight and more about functionality, this is definitely a kit to check out. What do you guys think? Do any of you have the kit? Do you think it's useful? Do you like it? I definitely do. So let me know down in the comments if you agree. I'll try to leave a link down to other Stanley coffee related products that I've done reviews on down in the description. I've also got an entire playlist called Coffee in the Woods. Used to be just about coffee in the woods, but it's turned into all kinds of coffee products. So check that out as well. Do me a big favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really does help things across YouTube, and it helps me know which videos you like most so I can plan what videos to do in the future. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button, and if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell, and you will be the first to know. Really enjoying a little bit of time here. It's, it's hot. It's that July, August time. I don't know when this video will come out, but as of right now, it's July or August, and it's really, really hot. Just started to rain outside a little bit. So that means in about, you know, 15 minutes when it stops raining, it's going to be a humidity factor of like a million. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.